Hello everybody, Marlene aka Snow Gardener 307. Well, we are here for a another monthly crock pot collab. I am excited to share one of my family's favorite recipes and it is a beef stroganoff. Now, just so you guys know, this is not my recipe. I will be including the recipe down below in the comments. I will let you guys know that I do make my own cream of mushroom soup from this link that I put in the freezer. So I've got a can of it right here. However, if that is too much work, don't worry. You can make this with a can of cream of mushroom soup. Super easy. Let's get into the ingredients. Okay, for this recipe, I need some beef. I'm in the middle of cutting up a beef roast. I don't usually buy stew meat because it is too expensive. For anybody that doesn't know, I am what I consider a prepper. So I have lots of things in my freezer and I just took this off. I got, it's a cross rib roast that I bought September 3rd of 2021. That's right, everybody. We are over a year later and this roast is still fine. I paid $2.29 and this roast was $10.05 and it was 3.3 pounds. But of course, I'm cutting the fat off and you need about two to two and a half pounds. So this is going to work out just perfect. So many people are afraid of their meat, their so many people are afraid of keeping things in their freezer for that long, but it works just fine for my family. I actually just took the roast in the package it was in and put it into the Ziploc freezer bag, and it looks amazing. So we've got our beef, and then we're going to need some sour cream, okay? So we've got sour cream. We are going to need some cream cheese. Now these two ingredients don't go in until after it's cooked. So my cream cheese is just gonna sit out while I let this cook. Then we've got the cream of mushroom. This is my homemade cream of mushroom, but again, you can use a can of cream of mushroom. We have got onion soup mix. I just use the generic, and we're gonna go ahead and use one packet of that, and then we need some mushrooms. I forgot those in the fridge. Let me go grab them. Mushrooms. I bought the loose mushrooms this last time, so I'm gonna get those washed up, put into the crock pot. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. Now I have got my meat all cut up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and slice my mushrooms. These mushrooms are a little bit older than I usually let them go. This is my fault for not cooking this when I planned on cooking it, but they will still be absolutely fine. So I just wash them good and I'm just cutting the ends off just because sometimes they're kind of hard. And of course, when you're cooking with mushrooms, these are still perfectly fine. They just don't look as pretty, but that's the good thing about cooking with them. It does not matter. So we're going to slice all of these mushrooms up and then we're going to get everything in the crock pot. Now it should cook on low for six to eight hours, but I am running behind and right now it's a little bit after one o'clock this afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook on high for two hours and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to low. I'm not sure what time my husband will be home. He's out of town working. But of course my son, um, I try to you know get him dinner at a reasonable hour. So we're gonna get this all put together. And then you guys, let me tell you what. If you have the time to make the mushroom soup, it is so worth it. I have tried this once at the very beginning with the regular cream of mushroom and it is yummy. But ever since I made the homemade cream of mushroom, I have not made it with the store-bought cream of mushroom again. So just keep that in mind. All right, it does let's not matter what order these go in because we're gonna mix them all up anyway. So we have got our beef and you can see that that cut up beautifully. It does take a little bit more time, but on my days off, I've got some time to give. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our mushrooms in there. And then we have got our packet of onion soup mix. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then we're gonna open up this yummy 
jar of cream of mushroom. And just so you guys know, this has been frozen since February of last year. I have one more jar left as I throw the lid at myself. I have one more jar left, so I am going to be looking for mushrooms on sale. But the other thing, of course, is heavy cream. And as you guys know, heavy cream has been so expensive. So I am going to be watching for that. Here is the cream of mushroom soup. I took it out of the freezer this morning and put it into a bowl of hot water because I forgot to take it out. I mean, I'm here keeping it real with you guys. But yeah, this cream of mushroom soup, if you have the time and the money, it is going to be more expensive than buying a can of cream of mushroom. I know that when I bought the generic cream of mushroom at Walmart, it was 88 cents. No, 68 cents this last time. And even Campbell's is only a little bit over a dollar. This is going to cost quite a bit more, but trust me, it is going to be well worth your time. Let me get a bigger spoon here. All right, let's stir this all up. We're gonna let this cook, like I said, on high for two hours because I am a slacker and I didn't get this started on time. <laughs> and so I'll set a timer for two hours. And then after the two hours, when my timer goes off, I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you what it looks like. We have got our cream cheese sitting out on the counter so it can warm throughout the day. And we are going to be serving this over egg noodles. Of course, you could serve this over potatoes. You could serve it over rice. You could do, if you're doing keto, because this is a keto recipe, just so you guys know. So if you're doing keto, you could do a cauliflower rice. Um, another thing that I love doing this with is broccoli. Just serve this in a bowl with broccoli. Oh my gosh, it's so good because this is so rich. All right, let's get this started. Okay, everybody, so I have turned it down to low now. This is what it looks like. We're gonna let it cook, and I actually turned it down to low probably an hour and a half ago. We're gonna let it cook. It's five o'clock, we're gonna let it cook until six o'clock, and then we're gonna add the cream cheese and the sour cream, so I'll be back. Oh. All right, everybody, we almost ate all of the stroganoff before I remembered that I needed to go ahead and close up this video. Um, let's put it this way. My hubby had two bowls of it. My son absolutely loves it and my daughter as well. So I will leave this down below. This one gets six stars out of five. It is definitely a family favorite. Here you see it pictured with egg noodles. If you are a stroganoff lover, this is an amazing recipe to try. Thanks you guys for joining me today. And until next time, remember to keep on smiling.